Chest shot, he milli rock. Oh, this little oh, black oh, bitch will get smacked white. Let's get it poppin'. Oh, You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody else who watches this channel, whether religiously or in passing, and everybody that's down with the rice gang, 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 gang. So I got a couple things I'm going to break down as I break down every round that I've sketched about. There's nothing slicker than the tools in the rusty shed house. Y'all came here playing. They're going to leave here giving head counts. They ain't even book you niggas' rooms. Harlem Hospital's giving beds out. Uh, URL releases the full, the full, full, full homecoming card. Uh, I do have some thoughts about it. I'll let you know what I think. Uh, the actual breakdown, who we got winning every single battle is going to be with SP. He will be by a little later. You know what I'm saying? But I had to dip in, tell you, you know, the rest of the battles got released. Uh, Swamp responded to me because I made a blog yesterday saying that I didn't like Swamp not getting no battles. He got off the trenches card. What the hell is going on with him? Why doesn't he have an announcement? It's almost Thanksgiving, a lot of these leagues. It's not just URL, there's other ones involved too that are not like being forthcoming with these cards and I just cannot understand. Y'all want people to support, y'all want people to promote, y'all want people to buy into what y'all got going on but y'all not telling the public what the fuck is going on. I think it's the weirdest thing ever. When boxing, UFC, they release their card the first day they start promoting. You know, everything that's going on. But with Battle Rap, they do this weird shit where you gotta like wait and wait and drag along, drag along, drag along. Nobody's got an announcement. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. People be like copping these events or wanting to go to these events because of who's on the card. So y'all drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. And the flights get higher, the hotels are higher, and then niggas just wind up not going because it's like, yo, if you know your favorite MC or somebody you want to see is going to be on a car, why the fuck do these leagues wait and wait and wait and wait and drag it out? The car comes out, even with Chrome. Chrome's got an event coming up in like a week or two. Like, how many weeks is this? Let me see. One, like two weeks from now. They got two, three weeks from now, they got an event coming up, and there's nothing out. Nothing going on. Nobody knows none of the battles, no promo, no nothing. Then when these events happen and nobody, uh, it happens a lot. These cards are not being promoted well. And, you know, a lot of these, like when, when baseball and different sports like boxing and UFC, they promote for five, six, seven months before the fights happen. Battle rap, they drop some shit next week and then expect everybody to just be in a rush running for it. And then when the shit don't do the way they want, they look at the fans like, oh, y'all not supporting. But it's like, yo, give these niggas something to support. So anyway, I dropped a blog about Swamp yesterday and then his release, his announcement dropped like an hour later. Do I believe... I'm the reason why? Nah, I'm not gonna say that. But do I believe that shit has some influence and when they see it, they push the button? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you speak and mad people watch you and mad people listen to you, you have some sort of power. It doesn't matter whether it's small or a lot. They see it, they hear about it. That, annou that, that announcement came out the same night, right? He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Okay, I'm not here to complain, I'm here to explain. That motherfucker better, it better have came out the same. <laughs> Shout out to Swamp. Um, so Swamp says to me, Avada, the battles I want, they scared, man. Verb, Cal, Goods, etc. They say, set it up, but it's gonna be a bunch of crap behind the scenes. Trust me, you know what I'm saying? Um, basically saying, because I made a blog yesterday saying like, yo, you, he leaves the trenches, he don't got the Calico battle, he don't got Verb battle, like what the fuck is going on? How hard is it to get this nigga a battle? And he was, he's basically saying that the people that he want, uh, he said they're scared. Uh, you know, people's in the comments saying, you know, uh, these people in Battle Legends invest, they're not scared of you. Uh, Verb, you know, Verb is, is in his proverbial bag talking the shit that he be talking. Uh, he basically says no promo on this card, and Swamp still ain't got a five star match. Whose fault is that? Who duck what? Where is Cal? When do y'all ask them why are they purposely slowing him down? But they telling y'all it's our fault. So the vets is saying they ain't, <laughs> they, they not the ones that's ducking. You know what I'm saying? Swamp is saying that the vets are scared. I think it's like a little combination of both. And I'm gonna tell you what that combination is. So the combination is the vets prices are high. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're high. Like vets want 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a battle. You are always going through a lawsuit. You are always going through the caffeine shit. They got a whole big card homecoming coming up. You got Mook on the card. You got Rex on the card. You got Twerk on the card. They can't. They not. They not about to dish out thirty, forty thousand dollars. They are not about to dish out thirty, forty thousand dollars to Cal. 
Knowing that if they dish out that big money on him, he'll go battle on RBE tomorrow. Like if the check is there, they'll do that. Look at y'all don't peep the shit. They give all of the newer MCs hell about going to battle in the other leagues. I just seen Arsenal battle on URL versus KCJ. Go to the blue room, battle against uh fucking B Magic. Leave the blue room, come back to you. Wait, battle on the roof on RBE and right back on URL. The nigga will probably be on RBE again. When you got a name, you can do what you want. A lot of newer guys, they can't, they, they could never move like that. But Arzee do what the fuck he want. He battle on whatever league anytime because he, he brings more to them than they could bring to him at this point. So it's like, you put him on the car, he's going to battle. He's going to bring, you know, his crowd. And people are going to watch him. You know what I'm saying? He's got to battle. Over. Arsenal's on the car versus Rum Nitty. Nigga! I mean, prep, whatever. Y'all know, it, I'm going to leave it alone. He got a battle on the car, homecoming. Anyway, um, let's look at the car. I think it's a it's a pretty it's a decent car. It ain't the best card of the year. Like I know niggas will probably try to say that. Like oh, it ain't the best card of the year. I'm sorry, it's just not. It's a decent card. There's some good battles on here. Let's hope that you know everybody brings their motherfucking a game. But um, I don't like for Swamp. I'm looking at it like dog. Why the hell would you take Lou Castro in New York, nigga? You want to battle a Timberland in the Timberland store, my nigga? Do you want to battle Batman in the fucking Bat Cave, my nigga? Like you do you know. <laughs> so here's the whole joint, man. Uh, Mook vs. Twerk, uh, Geechee vs. Sirius, Rex vs. Chess, Swamp vs. Castro, Arsenal vs. Nitty Prep, whatever. Uh, Shotgun Shug vs. Ace I mean. Uh It's a caffeine joint. Uh, it's some decent battles on it. It could be, it could has potential, but it's missing people. Like, where the fuck is Tay Rock? Like, how the hell is Tay Rock not on homecoming? Like, what the nigga Tay Rock is homecoming? He been holding the flag for URL for like the last 10 years, my nigga. Like, how is he not on here? The nigga had 59 battles and y'all gave the nigga a cake and sent him to Jamaica. Why is he not on the card that y'all supposed to be calling one of the biggest cards of the year? A moot card that Rock is not on? This shit look crazy. I'm not gonna hold This looks crazy that <laughs> Tay Rock is not on the card. How is Tay Rock versus Jerry West not on this? And I just interviewed Tay Rock in New York, like, uh, a week or so ago, you know what I'm saying? I literally just interviewed him like a week ago. He was ready for Jerry West. He said he could be ready in two weeks and shit. He told me that there, yeah, I could be ready for a battle in two weeks. And him not being on homecoming battling Jerry West is crazy. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. Waiting on Simon. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand. And while, like I said, uh, Swamp, I do like him being on the card, the match, mm, not so much because it's like, it's Lou Castro in New York and you got, you know what I'm saying, Swamp, he been battling, like he's supposed to get a fucking name, 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 no knock on nobody, you know what I'm saying, but Swamp has been like, trying to get fucking real battles, real big name, where's Danny Myers, why the hell is Danny Myers not on this card, there's mad niggas who's not on this card, but you got Arsenal up here, never mind, um, shout out to him too. Uh, Shotgun Shug versus Ace, I mean, I like the battle, I like it, you know what I'm saying, do I love it? No, am I gonna watch it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna front, like I ain't gonna watch it, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, they've had like little back and forth and shit, not in much to the, to the level that I've seen Ace, I mean, go at it with other people, uh, but Ace, I mean, promotes well, you know what I'm saying, uh, if he gets, if his, if his material sticks in front of the New York crowd, it should be good. Shotgun Shug is really energetic, though. I've seen him in front of New York crowds for a fucking long time. And Newark is like New York. New York. New York. New York. It's like literally a fucking... I can get to New York from Newark in literally like 15 minutes with no traffic. Dead ass. Like, you could literally get to New York from Newark in like 15 minutes. You just go right over, uh, pass by Elizabeth, pass by uh, Ikea and all of that shit, by Jersey City. You just drive straight up and you're in New York City, right on 95. It's a swoop. So... The niggas that fuck with Suge and the people that are fans of his are gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? They will rock with Suge in New York. Uh, it's probably gonna be like the opening battle of the night. Shotgun Suge is on. He's on like the bottom of the car versus Ace on me. But I think it could be a definitely good opening battle. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rex versus Chess. I can see the New York shit, but you know what I'm saying? Chess is like. He got to do it, you know what I'm saying? Every single time he has a big battle, and I have not been contested in this statement yet. Most of the big battles that he has on a big stage, he don't win. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't. He, and I'm from the Bronx, and I have no problem saying that. The only ones that he's really had in recent memory that have been of real substance was him versus Easy the Black Captain. Calico, no. John John, no. Uh, Shotgun, no. Uh, and I can just keep on going, like battle after battle after battle. He, he gonna show up. You know that uh, uh, it's coming. You know that shit's coming. You already know it. We might as well chalk that off until we can get him to like fake throw up. You, you you don't even have the first round, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got a fake throw up first. 
They should start filming the battle after he fake throws up. They should keep all the cameras off. Here's the plan, Smack. I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me. I know I know y'all niggas don't like me, but really, I don't give a fuck. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't start the cameras until after this nigga throws up. Why? I'm showing you. I'm telling you niggas right now. Let the nigga start rapping before y'all bring these niggas out on stage. The nigga gonna throw up. Then have them niggas all go backstage and then bring them out. That might be the way. Because that shit is going to happen. It's almost guaranteed. If it was a parlay available on that shit, I would put $100 on it. Because I'm going. that shit is fucking minus 200 right now. I'm not going to get 200 back. I might get 50 back. But still, watch what I said. We can come back to this motherfucker later. If it don't happen, shout out to him. But that would be my parlay bet. Um, so it's uh, December 10th. 3 p.m. Eastern, and literally, I've been hearing that there's going to be events in New York Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Literally, all three days in, in New York. Do these niggas really think that they could under-promote events and people are going to buy events three days in a row? Please. <laughs> As the consumer, I am only going to spend my money with, and I'm telling y'all do the same, spend the money with the people who you feel like did the best job and have the best product that you want to purchase. I'm never going to recommend people just blindly go out and buy three, four, five events in the same couple of days. This shit's as expensive as fuck. It's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't here to complain. I'm here to explain. I just let you know how it goes. Um, but yes, my, my client, you know, no, Swamp didn't hire me, but uh, still my client, he got his he got his battle released, his announcement released last night. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right after the blog came out, I know the niggas saw that blog. They were like, oh shit, uh -uh, uh -uh, get this nigga. Drop the fucking, drop the goddamn announcement right now. Drop it, drop it, drop it. They, they dropped that motherfucking announcement ASAP. They dropped the announcement so fast that niggas was in my comments like, yo, he got a battle on homecoming already full. I'm like, yo, I just dropped I just dropped this blog, nigga. You better thank, you better fucking thank me. <laughs> nah, but um, shout out to uh, Lou Castro and Swamp, you know what I'm saying? I like Lou Castro. I'm from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Uptown, 233rd. So in this battle, I'm gonna go with the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Swamp, I got you this far, I can't get you no further, my nigga. Beat him, if you, if you beat him, I, I say you beat him. But I'm rolling with the Bronx in this one because I'm not rolling with the Bronx in Rex versus uh, Chess. You know what I'm saying? We will talk about all of these battles in great length and detail a little bit later on, but I definitely want to let the fans know, that especially the ones that tune in and check for what I gotta say, know that Swamp did respond to the fact that, um, I said that he wasn't on the card, whatever the case may be. He let me know that, you know, the, in front of the scenes, the battlers be saying they're going to do it, but behind the scenes, they be ducking and trying to charge too much. So I was saying, before I get out of here, I was saying that two things can't be true. The artists could rise their prices, price gouging, you know what I'm saying? If you look at the market and the economy right now, uh, houses that used to go for 3%, for 28 for uh, one9 and all of that, they're like 7 or 8 9%. Some houses have fluctuating uh, mortgage rates that go up and down. You know what I mean? You can purchase a mortgage rate and your mortgage rate will be 2% one year, 8% the next. I suggest no one ever does that because unless you got fluctuating money, you do not want to you do not want to rise in and lower mortgage or fixed mortgage. You want your shit to be fixed, right? But we can talk about all that some other time. Um, so what I'm saying is the artist's prices will rise. So, they've been on caffeine, they've been exposed to the, welcome to the good life. They've been exposed to getting all this $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 money from caffeine. Caffeine not kicking out that same money because there ain't 40 events no more. Back in the, when they first started, they used to put these niggas on TV every, caffeine used to have these niggas up there every fucking week. These niggas have tournaments and all type of shit. The niggas would be battling so much, they'd go up there and forget half the shit that they were saying. It was crazy at one point. Caffeine done cut the water off, so ain't as much money flowing in as they used to be. But niggas is already used to. You can't take a bitch, feed her Ruth Chris, filet mignon, maestros, have her all around the country, then you want to start eating hamburger helper. They already used to a certain type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? So they, the caffeine got niggas used to a certain type of lifestyle. Now they trying to cut the water off, and the money ain't the same. So now they looking at them like, nigga, I still want this. I still want that. You had that to pay who? You pay no ups, right? I want this. So the prices of the artists is rising, right? Swamp is in a position where he's feeling like, yo, I should get these MCs, I should get these bigger names. You are always looking at ROI, return on investment. Is the return on getting you uh, this battle, or that battle, or this big name, are we going to get the actual return on it? If we put you in front of Calico, what are you going to bring? Are you going to beat Calico? You know what I'm saying? So it's just be so fucking much involved. Uh, I'm thankful. Shout out to Swamp for replying because he really didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? He could have just you know, ignored it, but you know, it, it's like this, right? 
I know that he saw it because he responded so fast, I had just put it out. I literally just put it out. And I only put it out as bait, like, yo, it really wasn't shit going on. Battle rap getting dry as a motherfucker right now. I was on there talking about Diddy and Hassan Campbell and all this other shit. And shout out to everybody who commented on that, you know what I'm saying? Because they was like, yo, you should talk about hip-hop some more. Because really, right now, the battle rap shit been so boring and under-fucking-promoted that I don't really be having shit to talk about. And I don't want to just force it and be up here just rambling about nothing. So that's why I incorporate some other stuff. Other pe people did like it, so I'm going to probably do it some more in the future. Um, but, you know... Uh, Swamp is finally on the card. He did respond to what I said. Shout out to him. I will be back a little bit later. Me and SP will go through the whole card and break it down battle for battle for battle. You know what I'm saying? He'll give what he thinks on the card. I think it's a good card. Do I think it's great? No, I think it's good. You know what I'm saying? 7.5, shit like that. Potential to be an 8. It's not max out. And I ain't saying it's not max out because I was on it. Well, maybe I am, but maybe I ain't. Really, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like from what the card that I saw and the promotion and everything that led up to it, it's not even compared. This shit was big as the Super Bowl. Ain't no leather shorts at home. Ain't gonna be no. Nah, man. Shout out to everybody out there, man. Um, Arsenal vs. Jag is out. Uh, it came out on Rare Breed. They put the joint on the roof or whatever. Make sure y'all check that. Uh, and really ain't much else going on. That Jazz and Twerk is out. They put that on YouTube, too. Make sure y'all check that. Uh, some more, I guess it's some more leagues dropping some more announcements. You know, Queen of the Ring is coming back. They got this shit going on with uh, 40 versus Coffee. And uh, they got the Yoshi, I mean, the uh, Shuni versus uh, KCJ. You know, give it up for the ladies. The ladies are dropping battles too. But, you know, like I said, battle rap is kind of boring right now. The promotion ain't really there. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas should call me. You know what I'm saying? You really should. You know what I'm saying? The pride, I got too much pride to hide. I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can call me. I can help out a lot of you niggas. But it will not be for free. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas will make money off me, so I don't work for free. But you know how to find me if you need to. I'm back. This is just a preview. Gang, gang. Or don't bang. Shout out to Ars, though. Ars was on Rare Breed, Battle B Magic, KCJ, went to the roof, came back to URL, and he's got Nitty. Wait, prep. No, uh, Capo? I don't know. He got one of them niggas. I'm out.